Hello everybody, this is Tazlon Michael Brenner from Drop Top Tees and several Facebook groups that I'm in. I've had um, the last couple months, actually ever since we bought the car and I've been in the groups, it seems like every month one or two or three people right in the group wanting to know where the cigarette lighter is on a 124 Spider. Other people, usually the same people because they're new and haven't figured it out yet, don't know about the cubby holes behind the passenger and driver seat. So I thought I'd make a quick little video and show everybody where these are. Start off with the cubby holes. Now, they're really kind of inconvenient to get to, but it's good that they're here because there's not a lot of, um, of cargo space in this car. No little car like this has a lot, so any little bit more you can give yourself is good. In the trunk, you have a tire inflator kit, not too big, but there's a better place to put it than where Fiat puts it. The cubby hole behind your seat. Just pull your seat up. Don't even have to slide it forward if you don't want to. And you can see, you just pull out and up and there's a little cargo space there. Fits the tire inflator kit perfectly. Then you just put tab A and slot A, poke it back in. Bam, out of the way. Again, not the most convenient since you have to reposition your seat, but for something like a tire inflator kit where you aren't expecting to use it, hopefully not at all, great place to stow it out of the way. Also like first aid kit, small first aid kit, band-aids or whatever, something that you're not going to use, but it's nice to have in your vehicle, great place to store it. Okay, behind the driver's side seat, same thing. So, if you knew they were there, cool. Some of you don't know they're there. Nice little compartments to take advantage of. Which brings us to the cigarette lighter, the infamous cigarette lighter on a 124 Spider. Does it have one or doesn't it? If you're like me, when you took the test drive, I asked my salesman, because I couldn't see one. It seemed weird that a modern car wouldn't have a 12 volt accessory slot. And I asked the salesman where it was. His response was it didn't have one and I was like well that's really strange bought the car took it home researched it online guess what it has one and when I found out where it was went back to the dealer to get the tag I um I got the salesman and showed him where it was and he was flabbergasted he really had no idea it was there so online everybody tells you look underneath the passenger dash up against the left hand side that's where it is but unless you bend down and really look you're not going to find it i have mine hooked up to an escort 360 max not really because i speed but hey you know turns beckon and uh better safe than sorry so here's where you go you have to bend way over get way down and look up underneath there voila you can see where the radar detector is plugged into it. It's way forward up there. If all you try to do is bend down while you're sitting down, reach up for it, you may not find it. But once you bend over, stick your head up there and find it, it's easy to find again. Out of the way, that's a little bit inconvenient, but I guess they figured that was the best place for it. Once you have something plugged in, it's actually good because it doesn't get in your way at all. Um, what we do, because we have a long extension cord, we just roll it up and stick it in, I guess, what's the change holder. So it keeps the cord nice and folded and out of the way as well. So there you have it. The mysterious location of the cigarette lighter on the 124 Spider. The cubby holes on the back seat. If you're looking at that strange emblem right there, as you can see on my license plate, I'm retired United States Air Force. I was a member of the Special Operations Weather Team and that emblem on my car is the Halo Parachutist badge because I was Halo qualified. You can also notice, maybe you did, I have the Auto Recombi resonated exhausts on it. That's going to be another video though. I'm going to make one with my son in a couple days. If you look around, we don't have the best weather right now. As a matter of fact, it was already supposed to have been raining. It was supposed to start raining about two hours ago. And it's going raining off and on for the next four days. So I would say early next week, my son and I are going to make a video and do some pass-bys with um, 
letting you listen to the car under acceleration kind of cruising and then as it decelerates so some of you who are trying to decide if you want to get a resonated exhaust will be able to hear it um, I just got the GoPro so I didn't have it before I switched the exhaust out but hey go outside drive your own car listen to what it sounds like compare it to what this video is I know it picks up this camera picks up sound pretty well so you'll be able to get a good idea and as I leave here I will turn the camera back on and you'll be able to hear what it sounds like from inside the cockpit so see you in four or five days ciao okay so here's a little sneak preview of the sound you get from inside the cockpit this is windows down top down gotta go across the what's left of the flood from several days ago when we got two and a half inches of rain in about two hours this whole park literally goes underwater whenever you have a lot of rain it's only about three or four blocks from my house As a matter of fact I could run over here quicker than I can drive here just because of the way the roads go but if any of you are familiar with the sport you can see the disc golf chains up there they have an 18 hole disc golf course I come over here and throw discs about once or twice a week in the summer so there's a little sneak preview of the sound four or five days from now I will upload that video as well